All right, we are back. Last episode, we learned all new sorts of spells and abilities. In this episode, I'm hoping to do some more of that. I'm very excited. But we are. Oh, I can't uh, teleport out of here. Really interesting. Oh, it's because it's gonna teleport me there. Now I think I might go do some side quest. And take a break from the main story for a little I bit. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I can't teleport out of here. It's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Let's go. Let go, let go, let go. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor oh, Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Cool, cool, cool. Big level up. Oh, interesting. Um, let's go back in here. Now, where did that book go? Revelio. Also, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Hmm. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Accio. Okay. What do I need to do? <laughs> Revelio. Interesting. Let's go look at our quest lines. Here. All right, makes no difference. Oh, but what does make a difference is my leveling quest talents. Yes, core. Okay, so I want that. That's cool. Oh, that's good, too. What is the room of requirement? Okay, yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, these are cool. I can't do any of this, right? Yeah, I don't have that yet. So this is a Vaticadavra. Interesting. Okay. Let's get this dodge. Seems cool. Yeah. Let's look at my quest. Got a ton of quests. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. I don't care about anything else. That's what we want to go do. Flying time. Flying time. Rebellion! So many doors with... Locked rooms. Yeah, I don't feel like gonna be field back here. Wow, only one more, huh? It was an accident! <laughs> that life is behind me! I promise! Gotta go up this way. Revelio. Anything interesting? No. 
Oh, I'm so excited for this. Yes! Finally get our broom. Been waiting for this for too long. Yeah. Grab a broom and we shall get started. Yes, Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today hey. is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. Yep. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. <laughs> Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, <laughs> let's see how well Sorry. everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, a step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. This thing, your broom. Up. 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 up, you stupid ratty school broom. Yeah, we got this. Up. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> Let's go. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay, cool. Good. Now. For your first lesson, oh. fly through each ring in the courtyard. <laughs> Do take care. This is brilliant. The brooms are school Wish property. I had my own broom. I want them returned in one piece. That's cool. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. Can I go faster? This next set of rings oh. will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh. That's cool. Okay. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Hello. Aha! Brilliant! <laughs> Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. True. This is cool, man. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> It really has that weight to it. That's what I like about the broom. Huh. That wasn't too bad. Where'd our friend go? Oh, they're smoking us. Oh, well done! Have a moment? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Yeah. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. 
The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> <laughs> nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Interesting. There's the famous bridge. Think of uh, all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. I see and the bottom right, I have my thing. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. <laughs> or it's a homie road. Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Looks <laughs> like she's already dismissed cars. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. How do I dismount? Let's be. And where have you two been? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. <laughs> oh, Mr. No. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself or, frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. Oof. Scolding too. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. <laughs> Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Damn right. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we have the broom. I've been waiting for this. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Yeah, no it was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. Yeah, that's where we're going. He's next. always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. For sure. We're going there next. Flying quest. Can I have the Madam room? Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Slytherin should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. <laughs> now. Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Cool. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet Ooh. place near there. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, no, 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 no. We're going to Hogsme first. I can't get distracted. I get distracted by all the cool stuff, man. And then I miss, like, um, the main story. See? Like, look at all this cool stuff. I should go to the recruitment requirement after this, though. Yeah, we'll go here first. Let's go to Hogsmeade. So what did they say for the flight? Three broomsticks. No. 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 No.
There we go. That's where we want to go. Okay. I was trying to figure out where it was. I couldn't seem to find it. All right. Whew. Does it get any more cozy? as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Here's all the vanders. Where is the brewing shop? Hold on, let's, um, I want to find that broom shop real quick. Okay, let's do that way for Oh, it is this building. I'm an idiot. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hold on, we'll say hi in a second. Just I'm gonna loot your stuff here. Equip all of our gear that we have, and then we're gonna sell everything that we don't need. I kinda like the Slytherin vibe this gives. Yeah. Challenges. Quest. Cool. Anything else I need to grab before we go? Collections. Bunch of new stuff. Okay. Quest. Uh, Perry Pippins, potions, and hogs. Let me send an animal regarding me. Deliver. I should speak to him. Okay. Go do some of this. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had mm -hmm. to travel as far as London That's to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Lacked. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yes. Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows, Wind Wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Dope. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spent Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. Mm. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. I just if a particular a broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Okay, have a look. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Yeah, let's see what we got. What are we looking for today? So we can sell all this. Nice doing business with you. Selling a bunch of items. Right, so on that. Get rid of all of it. <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> wow, this stuff is worth so much money. I don't think I realize that. Okay, cool. That item is of the highest quality. Kind of one speedy broom. Okay. No. That item is of the highest yeah, quality. We gotta go with the Ember Dash. That one looks the best. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. Okay. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. 
I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. Okay. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yeah. Okay. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. <laughs> I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me united. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Sounds good. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Cool. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Revelio. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Potato! So how do I summon my broom? Huh? Oh, is there no flying zone in here? That's why. Let's do world map. Travel here. Nice. Now let's get to some of these fun side quests. We'll, go, we'll hit the main story in a little bit. No rush. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Protego! Now, how do I get on my broom? Is it B? Um... Gear? Room? How do I summon said broom? Settings. PC controls. Take off. Q. Okay, it doesn't tell me how I summon the broom, though. can get the broom to summon. Protego! Oh, that's cool. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on, I'm looking this up. It's bothering me. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Got it. Go 
the Quidditch area, nice. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. <laughs> Hello, Imelda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. <laughs> Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I'm I know. Natural Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Sound jealous? Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But hmm. for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You hmm. can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. Oh, you're gonna get smoked. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. Yeah. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I'm gonna put you down a peg. This is rather fun. Brilliant. Oh, I'm getting smoked. Okay, here we go. Now I've got a better control. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Oh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Oh, fine, <laughs> you won. Oh, don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. <laughs> all right. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. Hmm. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. <laughs> Easy. All right, let's go back to him. Hugs me. So we get a free upgrade for our broom, which is nice. I'm hyped for that. Makes travel a little faster. <laughs> Hugs me, here I come. 
It's like there's no flying in me. Oh, you're back. With something to report, I hope. Yeah. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's yeah. wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Cool. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Yeah. Quest completed. Alright, let's go to the room of requirement. Let's go here. Oh, I'm so happy we have our broom. We got our cool little dodge stuff too so we got a lot of cool stuff now you know anything's gonna be the hardest now is hold on let's quit let's track this quest with all these new spells i'm getting it's like ah, which spells do i use you know oh it's down okay I wonder if that means I can use my mount instead of my broom now, too. I'll have to look after we get out of here. My hippogriff. My hippogriffs. <laughs> here we go. Professor Weasley? Mm. Requirement. Somewhere away from prying eyes. It's that wall, brother. A blank wall right there. The pipe. The pipe. Yeah. Let's go. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. <laughs> Shall we? I love the slander. After you, Professor. Like the slings they have. It's very clever. Merlin's beard, Gryffindor's heart. There's some fun slander in this. Or slang, I should say, not slander. <laughs> slander. I guess there's mudblood if you want to talk about slander. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. <laughs> Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only <laughs> planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Oh, okay. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can Ooh. cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first. Interesting. Then you can clear the chairs away. Can I do that on enemies? That'd be interesting. Having a skull. Splendid. 
Um. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. And actually, I want to do this real quick. Set in the, um, or, um, hold on, let's do a couple things. I want this back up here. These will be my utility slot. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Lumos. Is that... goodness? My old school bag. <laughs> I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Rebellion! Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Hey, I waited for you in here. Perhaps it, we're assigned a few more inches of permanent respect. Sincerely, T. Interesting. Revelio. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! Protego! Revelio! No, not. Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> it offended the room. I need a bed. Cheeky thing. It's funny. Revelio. <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? True. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Lumos. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Accio. I will. Thank you very much. <laughs> Incendio. Accio. Interesting. Incendio. Revelio. Okay. Oh, I see what I gotta do. I'm an idiot. Accio. Okay. I'm on this. Oh, really? Levioso. Oh, can I do that? Yes.
Now what do I do up here? How do I put it back? Let me I want to Levioso the other thing. Hmm. Revelio. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe if Levioso. went like way high up okay so then I should just be able to oh whoopsies okay hold on Akio. Levioso. Akio. Don't find back item. Interesting. That was a little hard to get. A little bit of a puzzle. Revelio. Oh, I missed something back here. Grab some gold. Some brooms over here. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Akio. Akio. Come to you. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, no. would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. <laughs> you seem That's to have funny. accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Yeah, just gotta think. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. quite a canvas to work with hey what can i say what can i say we're the best we're the goat i look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah 
And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify that... unfamiliar items of clothing. Oh, sweet. I got a couple one of One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Cool. Reveal its... Yes. I need to do that. Let's identify some gear. Okay. Cool. Uh, now I'll go to gear is where I want to go. Whoa! Yeah, that's insane. We're gonna change the look of it, though, but that is... I do love the Slytherin robe that I got, but... I feel like it's just gonna be so hard to pass... ...this up. I mean, come on. Look at that. Cool. I also don't like the way this looks. Let's change... I kind of like that. Alright. Cool. Let's grab these real quick. Gloves. Alright, cool. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, yeah. I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The Ooh. room might not provide everything you need on its own. Mm, conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. Cool. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Okay. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. Okay. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. Good they job. can also be collected by vanishing yeah, objects in that. the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used okay, cool. to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. Let's do that. Um, items used to brew potions, yep. Okay, let's do this one. I can rotate it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, what else do I need? Thermology? Just go. This one is cool. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, there's so much cool stuff you're gonna like. Okay, go. Oh. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Nah, goblins are smart. I got you. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? Yeah. He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. Good to know. We discovered this room together when I was a student. 
Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Good to know. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Yeah, might as well. You're here. It's a quest line done. Oh, sweet. Level 13, baby. Hold on, let's go upgrade something. Talents. Pretty poor. That one's really good. Basic impacts reduces spell. Ooh, I like that. I do need to do these soon. These are dope. Yeah, we'll get those. We'll get those. Cool. Alright, let's talk to you. Let's get this done. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Yeah. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully I've gathered a ton of outside moonstone. of the Hogwarts I'm already, I'm already ahead of you. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I'm, I'm already ahead of you. I, I've already got enough easily. I have the Moonstone you requested, <laughs> Professor. I've been, Good. I've already done that. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. on the chair. Yeah. Oh, so we got tables. Oh, I like this. This is a good table. Let's put this in like, um, this is in like the corner. We'll add to that later. seen this many plants here before. Dick 
thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, thanks, man. Good work. Shall we move on? Yeah. What do we got next? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Okay. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Okay. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of oh, your furniture to suit your taste. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Cool, cool, cool. Let's cast it. Altering right. spell. Just the color of an item. Revelio. Um, How do I change the color? Oh, here we go. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Oh. Dick thinks you should be proud of the emotions you brewed. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Akio, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Okay. Revelio hasn't seen this many plants here before. Right. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um... Let's do dark and mysterious. That sounds interesting. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Let's see what this does. Hope I can change this back later if I don't like the look of it. Interesting. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Yeah. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. I can believe that. <laughs> That's cool. Whoa! More area. Much bigger, more area. That's cool. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Cool. 
Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Yeah, this is cool. There's a lot Good. of it's I'll leave you to Dope. it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Yeah, I'm excited. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Thanks, man. Uh, I want to change the way. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Let's try the, um, the moonlight. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. I might go back to the original, but I want to see how this looks first. Oh, no, I like this. This looks cool. Yeah, this is cool. I like that there's like shadows and stuff. Dee cannot believe how many beasts you have here. It's such a big space. This is cool. All right. Well, we have now learned a bunch of new stuff, and that is where we're going to end today's episode. Make sure to subscribe for tomorrow's playthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.